Three, two, one. Driving around in my car, looking for some kind of open bar. It's gonna be alright, gonna be alright. Got no money, but I'll work it out with my charm. Having a good time and doing no harm. It's gonna be alright, gonna be alright. Hey, what's going on? Hope you're having an awesome day today. Last week, North Borders, Northern Borders, Mike actually messaged me and he said, we're gonna be doing some photography shoot, some portrait photography shoot with a cosplayer. I've never ever even seen a cosplayer in my life. We've done portrait photography before, but I haven't really focused on anything in particular. There was a few times when I focused on posing and everything like that, but I think that today I wanna like focus on getting some movement and showing emotion. If you're able to capture emotion the viewer when they actually see the photo it evokes emotion out of them when they see the emotion in the person in the photo you know what I mean that's what's so powerful about portrait photography and that's why portrait photography is my favorite kind of photography if we can get any kind of emotion I'll be really happy so let's go to the city look who it is yeah I'm recording you first Mike. yeah and then Mike comes Mike up just nearly shut this up. so you reckon you can let us boys be at your house without you even being here without even telling us that you're gonna be yeah <laughs> I think you've gone out of roast people, I huh? I was, yeah, I was like, I was like halfway, <laughs> I was, I was halfway through my roast and I was like, shit, I forgot uh, what I wanted to say. <laughs> He's keen for f***ing Asian food after the show. Like, go go left. <laughs> Is she gonna be wearing the costume straight up? I've never done this before. Hey Tina, are you having trouble finding the spot? I'm at a car park. I don't exactly know where to go though. So I'm like near roundabout and train tracks. Okay, train tracks is good. I don't know about the roundabout. Hey, Hayden. Hayden. Yeah. Like how many photo shoots do you think you've done like with different clients? Proper photographers? Yeah, like proper photographers. Three. Oh, okay. Two <laughs> was with one person, which was like one over Christmas, and then I did a milk bath shoot with him. One was last week, but there was like four photographers at one shoot. So you're used oh, wow. to this. So that means that if we if we screw up, you guys are gonna know. Yeah. Yes, As in you have high sure. you have you have high standards. Yeah. I, I'll say I do. <laughs> we can't screw up. If we screw up, I'm just gonna move to Antarctica and that's it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. How long have you been doing cosplaying for? Um, just over two years actually. Educate me. I don't know anything about games. I don't yeah. know anything about any of that, but I've always like been so- at all? Yeah, but I know like- You shouldn't admit that to me. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> Shit. Do you like go to like different like exhibitions and stuff? Like yeah. what's- so the next one will be Supernova, but then there's Comic-Con, anything pop culture related, comic book related, I yeah. will be there cosplaying. So what do you love about cosplaying? I first started it just because it was kind of like a creative outlet and I just, I've always loved comic books, pop culture, yeah. gaming. I love dressing up as my favorite characters. I do dancing for 16 years as well. Oh yeah, um, sweet. So like designing costumes and I guess being someone else was the best part about it. When you're like your character, mm. do you, are you able to like do like really cool different like dance moves and stuff? Do you incorporate that? Because that would be you know sick what? for photography. Like, I haven't, but maybe I should. Yeah, definitely. I, th I think we need to actually. I think, all right, tonight's the night. You're, we're gonna like, we're gonna find out whether you've still got the moves and be able to get some sick ass poses. The photos that have gone the best on your feed, have they been the fighting shots? Either fighting shots or of my fighting ass. <laughs> What's the weirdest message that you've ever gotten on social media oh. before? I probably can't say some of them because some of them are really bad. And then really? I also get emails with like photos and it, people have wow. no shame at all. But that's the thing like with what you do, like you put yourself out there so much and the, the sound is going to be awesome right now with this train going by. Yeah, there's some, there's some interesting humans out there. I'm yeah, really for sure. Interesting is a really polite way of saying. Yeah, that, that keeps your following. <laughs> I'm the type of person, if people send me creepy messages, I put it up on my story. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, so like, you flaunt it. Yeah, yeah. Because, no, because I'm like, if you're going to send me creepy things, expect to be exposed to yeah. a lot of people. Do you blur um, out the names? No, never. Oh, it's good. On purpose. It's good. You, yeah. Expose it's these good. Exactly. I'm well, with you. Yeah, I show good. the names and all. Why not? If you're going to send me dumb shit, then I'm going to expose you. Exactly. It's that true. simple. Savage. <laughs> Savage as. <laughs> Left hand up a tiny bit. 
Raul the photo is actually. I like that one the most yeah. at the moment. What yeah. You, what one do you like? I feel like I'm inclined to say the one that you guys like. <laughs> no, no. Have your honest opinion. <laughs> honest opinion. Which one? That one or that one? I do like that one only because. No, you're yeah, wrong. No. You're wrong. No. <laughs> As your actual character, is there anything that your character does specifically that can that we can do in the photos? Like, does she do any sort of movement or like any power? Like, what? Let me know. Um, so she does like a sonic cry. So she'll like lunge forward and like scream. Okay. Um, to like hurt her enemies. Okay. All right. Maybe actually that that could work. I reckon. Okay. So if we had you do. Like, bear with me for one <laughs> second. So like, would you be comfortable with like actually doing like a scream so that we can get like the emotion? Cause it would be really cool. Like actually screaming? Like screaming at the top of your lungs kind of thing. I can give it a try. You can give it a try? <laughs> yeah, you're all yeah, good maybe. with that? <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's all right. do it. Let's give it a go. <laughs> In three, in three, two, one. Ah! I can scream loud. It's like I don't even know what it's supposed to be like. It's it just sounds meant right. To sound like that. Yeah. 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 That's so good. Have you practiced this? No. Really? Yeah. You're yeah. Right. yeah. 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 Swear to God. Yeah. That one. Oh, that's, that's fucking that's a, epic. Look at the boomerang, right, mate. Look let's see, that. let's see, let's see, let's see. <laughs> that is bullshit. Perfect. Shit. With photography, if you get this shot and you know you've gotten me shot, no better feeling in the world. Tina, it was really nice to meet you. If you haven't followed Tina on Instagram, then just do that here. If, if you want, it's up to you. You know what to do. All right, so the very first photo that we got was this one here of Tina. We've got the really nice depth isolation. We've got the background that's really bokery. We've got the foreground, which is the baton. That, that's kind of out of focus as well. And what that does is it creates that depth isolation on her being the subject. And I like this one. I think I like this one a little bit better because the bokeh is a little bit more defined because she's further away from the lens. And that makes the bokeh like a little bit more like, you can see the actual lights in like every room in the city kind of thing in the background. I really like that. I also like the leading lines from the bridge coming towards the frame. I really like that. Well, another thing that distinguishes her from the background is the backlighting on her hair. And then the next photo, which was the emotion photo, this was a photo that I really wanted to get right. And if I didn't get this right, then I'd crack it. But <laughs> I actually got her to like try and picture herself as the actual character herself. So in doing this, like because she got into the character, she was able to kind of like calibrate the emotions of like what the character would be feeling when the character screams kind of thing. Because she got into that character, she actually let out a really convincing scream. Like it was weird how convincing it was. Like it was a piercing scream. Like, because she screams the way that she did, she activated like those parts in her neck and I really wanted that to be shown. And then obviously you have the emotion on her face. She's actually like, that, that looks creepy out. She looks so scary. But I love that. Like that's what I love about the photo. And like showing that photo to you, like what do you think about the photo? Let me know down in the comments what you actually think about it. Because in my opinion, just looking at this photo, it's a sense of like strength, power and and just violence and like she's, it's just like power. And then afterwards we had this photo of her doing like the kick. I think that pose is like really cool and obviously goes with her character really well. I think that what's really cool about it though is like her boots, how she kicks up like that. And then she has like the sharpness of like the boot. What, what do you call that in like the, the heel? Is it, is it just 
called the heel, that pointy thing. That thing that's like pointing up into the sky, that's like really like sharp and everything. And the contrast of that sharpness on the bokeh in the background really like exaggerates that sharpness. And I think that's really sick. Doing something completely different, meeting new people, nice people, having fun with it. I reckon I'd probably rate that shoot in a nine and a uh, uh, no. Uh, uh. <laughs> what the fuck? What was that? It's like, bang, bang, bang. have you seen that video? <laughs> it's, uh, so I'd probably rate that about a nine and a half out of 10 as usual. Like that's pretty much every single far out. Question of the day. Hey, Pedersen. Pedersen, you don't even have the, you don't even have the audacity to call me by, hey Don. I'm joking, no, don't call me hey Don, that's a dead meme. Hayden, call me Hayden, please. I'm pretty much into photography, but confused, but I'm confused, is it a good profession? Like, can I? Can it make me quite a lot? I would also like to know which degree you qualified for this. Hope you reply. If you go into anything, if you go into photography, filmmaking, if you go into accounting, or actually no, probably not accounting because you go into accounting probably for the money, but like, if, no, actually no. If you go into anything, for the money, you're never going to be happy. So stop thinking about how you can make money in doing something and start thinking about the things that you love to do and commit yourself to that. Find something that you would like to do for free. That's like probably the easiest, it's not the easiest way, it's not easy to find your passion, but like think about something that you would want to do for free, you would be willing to do for free, and then if you can get paid for that, then that's a bonus. That's what, I, I think like that's like one of the biggest keys to happiness in life is like, it's finding your passion, finding something that you would do for free, but you actually get paid for. Like I would do this for free. I've only just been starting to get paid with YouTube now. The actual obtainment of money does not yield happiness. It never has and it never will. So that's some wisdom from your boy. Anyway, that's the end of the video. If you like this video, maybe consider liking and subscribing. It's up to you. You know what to do. It was awesome hanging out with you again and I'll catch you next time.